Hello everyone, Fed here and welcome back to another how to build a video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to build a working electric fence. Now, I did not have this idea. I was reading through some of my older comments on some of my other videos and I ran into this comment by Snowcone who asked me to build a working electric fence. And the first thing I thought of when I looked at this is like, how am I going to do this without command blocks? Because <laughs> if you didn't know, I like to make things work in survival so people don't have to use command blocks, mods, and things like that. And I was just like, how am I going to do this without command blocks? So my first idea was, you know, just put a magma block on the floor near some fences. And there you go. There's your electric fence. But that kind of looks ugly. So I came up with a very simple way to make an electric fence. Looks good. Little annoying to get the item you need to make it work, but it's super easy to do. So if I walk up to my fence right here, I get electrocuted. <laughs> well, I get poisoned. So now some of you are looking at me and going, I know how this works. I know exactly what you put under there to make this thing work. There's only like two mobs that can poison you in the game. So which mob could I possibly put under here that makes no sound and can poison me? <laughs> I am using a puffer fish. Yep, I am using a puffer fish. Super easy to do. And the great thing about this is you can make whatever fence you want because the fence has nothing to do with it. It has to do with the puffer fish underneath. So, you know, if you want to make some end rods to make your electric fence, boop, there we go. <laughs> And I noticed this. Uh, I haven't played this game in two years. I just came back like two weeks ago. When did they change the end rods? When did they make them look gray? I remember these used to be purple, like a really bright purple. What happened here? So this build is, like I said, extremely simple to do. Anyone can do it. The only annoying part is you need puffer fish. You need to get, you need to find a lukewarm biome, a lukewarm ocean biome or warm ocean biome. I think that's what they're called to catch yourself puffer fish because you need Quite a bit amount of puffer fish. If you're making this thing big, you're going to need, if you're doing this on survival, you're going to need a, a, a good amount of puffer fish. And honestly, it won't kill you. But if you tell your friend you have an electric fence, you go, hey, buddy, hey, hey, why don't you, why don't you go touch that fence over there? And you tell them it's an electric fence, your, your friend's going to go touch it. Your friend's going to touch the fence to see if it's actually electric. Come on, don't, don't kid yourself. If your friend told you that you have an electric fence, you're going to touch it. <laughs> so very easy to do. Nothing to this thing. I mean, all we have to do is just dig out blocks like this just dig out a two block area and then we our fence is going to be going right here so just take out your trap doors place down your trap doors now if you don't want people to be uh open them you can use iron trap doors but then you'll be able to see underneath you'll be able to see the water and the puffer fish and i don't really like that so but you can use any trap door you want and then just take out your bucket of puffer fish and go like that there you go just place your puffer fish down like i said you need a lot of puffer fish <laughs> You could do it on survival, but you need a lot of puffer fish. And then there you go. You're done. Now all you have to do is just build your fence. So, you know, go into crouch, place any fence you want down. Normal fence. I mean, anything. A any kind of fence you possibly want. An end rod fence, an iron fence. It's all up to you. Everything works from underneath. Now, if you actually want these puffer fish to stay puffed up, even on creative, I found out something very interesting when I was building this. Uh, I don't know if anyone has a video on it. I'm sure there is. But puffer fish hate minecarts. They absolutely hate minecarts. Like, look, if you put a minecart near a puffer fish, they hate them. They absolutely hate these things. So if you want your puffer fish to always be puffed up, if you are playing on survival, once the character gets into the radius of the puffer fish, it's going to puff up anyway. But if you want to make this thing always work on creative as well, just get a minecart, you know, dig down two blocks near your fence, place a minecart in. And now watch when I go up to it, I'm getting poisoned. These guys hate minecarts but i mean that's it guys you're done you don't need to watch the video now all you need to do is just build a fence <laughs> any fence you want completely up to you thank you Snowcone, for giving me the idea i actually had to wrap my brain around this one a little bit so it was a lot of fun and sometimes the best ideas to build in minecraft aren't even your own ideas because then i just have to figure out how to build it i don't have to think about it and this is just like an older one i don't i'm sure a lot of people have seen this it's just a barbed wire fence you can just use cobwebs put them right above iron bars and it kind of looks like a barbed wire fence. People have been doing this for since cob since you could get cobweb. I know I've been doing it for years, like seven, eight years now. <laughs> so I just made a nice little barbed wire fence there. You can also, like I said, just use at these ugly end rods. I wish they were still purple. You can use end rods. You can use fences. You can use trap doors. Completely up to you. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a working electric fence inside of Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, make sure to hit that bell because I'm uploading on the daily. All right, guys. Ah! <laughs> Peace.